Losing your eye can be traumatic. It's never a good situation. But there are options, and let's talk about some of the things and some of the benefits that a prosthetic eye could offer you. Prosthetic eyes are wonderful. You know, everybody hears about the glass eye or they think of the, the wooden eye rolling down the Pirates of the Caribbean ship. Well, they're not made out of wood and they're not made out of glass anymore. Back in World War II, they actually switched over to plastic. Uh, there's a lot of different varieties of prosthetic eyes and how we fit them. You know, sometimes they're very thick and they're heavy. Sometimes they're thin like a shell, like a contact lens. And sometimes they actually are a contact lens that's custom painted. Let's talk about what some of the, the surgical options before proceeding a, a, a prosthetic eye. Oftentimes, there's just eye damage. Maybe your iris is blown and you need to control the glare. And a soft contact lens that's painted custom to fit your other iris is a great option. Now, if the eye is starting to shrink, it's clouding over, we don't necessarily always have to remove the eye. We can fit right over the top of it like a thick contact lens. In many ways, this is much better because the muscles are already still attached to the eye that you have and it can actually give a little bit more movement than most. The next stage is an evisceration or an enucleation. Your, your ophthalmologist will talk to you about which one is best. There's a variety of reasons which one is best, enucleation or evisceration, depending on what, what's happened to your eye. Was it trauma? Is it cancer? What other reasons or how healthy the eye is to figure out which is best. It's important that you choose a good oculoplastic surgeon or somebody that does a lot of enucleations or surgeries to remove the eyes. It makes, gives it my job to fit a prosthetic eye. It makes it a lot easier for me. Now, once we start fitting a prosthetic eye, is it going to look the same? Am I going to, is it going to be looking off towards nowhere? Is it going to move? Well, believe it or not, a prosthetic eye can actually look extremely good. You know, we can't, we're not as good as what God can do. He does a lot better than what we can but we can give you much more confidence. And oftentimes people will wonder, which eye is your prosthetic eye? Will it move all the way? Generally, it moves about 40 to 60% as you're moving left and right and up and down. But generally, when you're looking straight ahead, it does a really good job. Iris colors can be matched tremendously well. Um, sometimes lid surgeries may be needed to help match the eyelids up. And there, there are some times where, especially with trauma or with cancers, that things can cause, uh, can, can lead to damage to the eyelid and the surrounding tissues. We may not be able to make it perfect, but the outcomes can be tremendous. How do we take care of them once I have them? Well, generally a prosthetic eye lasts about five to seven years. You know, are we, am I going to get infections? With every prosthetic will come discharge to some level or another. How do we treat that? Well, go to your eye doctor and we can take care of it. There's some inflammation that can be from allergies, sometimes infection. But generally, we want to make sure if we're cleaning and polishing it about every three to six months, we'll be able to keep it in nice shape. If you're going to be able to clean it and manage it, maybe once a week to once a month where you're taking it out, that actually can avoid a lot of the problems. But in general, you put it in, leave it in, and it's in there for a week at a time to a month at a time, or in, sometimes, in some cases, even more than that. So you can't forget the fact that you don't have an eye, and it's not going to be like you had, had before. But it can provide a very good means of being able to can maintain that, that good appearance and the normal appearance. Now, if you don't get a prosthetic eye, if it's shrinking, if you're having problems and lots of pain, don't shy away from it. If your doctors are, are recommending removing the eye and then using a prosthetic over the top, it can be a very good reason, a very good solution. If you have questions, all you can, the best thing you can do is ask. And there are solutions. Patience is a good thing to have, but don't, don't delay your happiness and don't delay comfort and you know, don't deal with the pain. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about you know, the different surgical techniques or things you can do to help take care of your eyes, you know, like us on Facebook, like us on Google+, and subscribe to us on YouTube to learn more and keep up to date with your eyes.